Hello, my name is Arna Dixit and I'm a junior majoring in Global Liberal Studies and Social and Cultural Analysis with minors in French, Literature Taught in Culture and Media Culture and Communications. Um, I was a Gallatin Global Human Rights Fellow for the summer 2023 um, year and my focus was women's refugee rights. Um, I've been interested in refugee and migrant rights since working with the Liberal Studies Dean Circle, through which I traveled to Abu Dhabi uh, to learn more about the theory and sociopolitical paradigms surrounding refugee and mi migrant rights. Um, this summer, I worked with Nansen, situated in Belgium, uh, in Brussels, Belgium, working, to, working as a legal firm looking to provide legal aid to asylum seekers within Belgium. Um, I chose Belgium because French is the only other language I'm fluent in besides Hindi and English, and I wanted to get some language immersion out of my experience as well. Um, and Belgium being the seat of the United Nations was a great space to kind of explore sociopolitical issues and issues such as asylum, uh, statehood, nationhood, and refugee rights in general. Um, I was there for about two months in Brussels, um, working with Nansen. Nansen is a grassroots organization that really works um, at the kind of like ground level to address these issues through a legal lens. Um, it's a pretty small organization, but they do partner with bigger organizations like the UNHCR. Um, the team was about four to five people. One of them was working remotely, um, including me. It was four people in the office. So I really got the sense of like working with a smaller group of people and getting to know the folks I was working with, kind of learning about, um, you know, what kind of sociopolitical environments were present in Brussels and in Belgium at large, and kind of learning about the different cultures surrounding um, how we think of nationality, how we think of national identity, and how we think of as asylum um, and refugee rights. Uh, in that kind of global sense and in the sense of uh, the US versus the European Union. A lot of the lingo that was being used on a daily basis, I was not super familiar with uh, since, you know, they used the term asylum seekers a lot more than, for example, refugees or migrants. And there was a different set of laws and legislations governing the European Union framework that they referred to and talked about. So it was definitely a learning curve for me, kind of learning the ins and outs of the European Union system and then specifically the Belgian system, but it was super interesting as well. Um, my day-to-day -day tasks entailed filling out spreadsheets, but as it was a smaller team, I was also able to take on some extra responsibility. I helped with some case research, um, depending on the cases that my colleagues and supervisors were arguing and addressing in court at, at the same time. Um, and so I did some case research on like family values in certain cultures, what language was, were, languages were being spoken by folks from certain regions of, um, you know, certain regions that had high migrant rates in Belgium um, and some of that background sociocultural information. Um, I also undertook a smaller slash more central research project on gender-based stereotypes in asylum, as well as what asylum looked like for queer people in Belgium. We had a PhD student on the nonsense, te nonsense team that was kind of working on similar stuff. So I was able to partner with them and kind of research more specifically uh, the intersections of like women's rights, gender rights, and asylum and refugee rights. Um, and since I am a, I do have a concentration in gender and sexuality studies within my social and cultural analysis major, this was super interesting to me. Um, but yeah, it was a super informative experience. I feel like I learned a lot more about what kind of nuances I'm really interested in when it comes to social justice, when it comes to migrant and refugee rights. Um, I enjoyed working with the team and kind of learning more about the European Union and how that system works. And for the next year, I will be studying abroad in Paris. Um, and so that's, that'll, you know, I'll kind of be continuing that understanding and uh, increasing that knowledge on how the European Union works and how countries in Europe work as compared to the US or the global South, um, or how that informs my own experiences and my own ideas around these topics. Uh, while I was with Nansen, I did get to work with some international organizations like the Cross Border Forum, 
that includes England, France, and Belgium. And so hopefully some of that work comes up again in France. Uh, I will be doing an internship next semester to the Global Liberal Studies program that is my primary major. And so perhaps some of those things that I kind of began understanding more deeply in Belgium, I can continue to learn more about and continue to advocate for here in France. Uh, and yeah, I think refugee and migrant rights is just such a transient topic that comes up in every country, especially in France, when there's a lot going on with like refugees from the Maghreb and, you know, refugee rights and immigrant rights, given France's colonial past. Um, and so I'm hoping to kind of continue that investigation of migrant and refugee rights in the European Union, France, Belgium, um, and this area in particular. Um, but yeah, I'm super grateful for this opportunity. I'm super grateful to everyone at Gallatin, to Professor Nasaya, and to my peers for helping me kind of learn more about these topics, for, um, you know, just making the seminar and the experience what it was. Um, and yeah, I'm really grateful for this experience. And I, it's definitely kind of changed the course of uh, my, acad my ac academic career and my future goals. Um, and yeah, super grateful.